What's going on, everyone? I am your host, DeFi Sean, and you are watching Crypto and Cause Investing, back with a crypto market update with our $70,000 plus Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and look at the market. Why did it go up? What are all the other blue chips doing? And exactly what does everything look like? So our crypto market cap has gone up from yesterday from $2.2 trillion to $2.4 trillion. Volume has surpassed the $100 billion mark at $101.76 billion. Fear and greed, I want to see jumped about five to ten points up to 60 out of 100 our btc dominance is at 58.6 percent and our eth dominance is at 13.1 percent but why why all of a sudden do we have a 70 plus thousand dollar bitcoin in this video we're going to go over that but before we get started make sure you go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and check out that call channel link down below so we know our Bitcoin is at 71.8 thousand, up 4% the last 24 hours. As you can see, everything that we follow on the channel is green and up the last 24 hour. Ethereum did surpass the 2.6 thousand at 3.99% up the last 24 hour. BNB eclipsed the $600 mark. I believe it was trading at around 589, 590 yesterday, all the way up to 606, up 2%. Solana at 179, up 2%. Solana didn't move very much. Doge Coin is up 12% at 16, almost 17 cents. Shiba Inu is up 7%. Pepe, of course, our most volatile token, is up 8%. And Kronos, as usual, my favorite, is at 2%. But exactly why is this happening? Why did Bitcoin shoot up to $70,000? Me personally, I think it has a lot to do with the upcoming elections. We are just seven days away. So let's go ahead and talk exactly what's going on with that who's the bet in favor to win, and everything associated with the election. All right, so let's get into exactly what's going on. Coming on down, Bitcoin went past 71,000 for the first time since June, bolstered by inflows into ETFs, as well as speculation about the potential outcome of the next US election. Hopping back on over to CoinMarketCap, we'll see that yesterday alone, there were $470 million of inflows into spot Bitcoin ETFs. So that is no doubt playing a part in it as well. Now, the largest digital asset, which is Bitcoin, rose by 2.7%. Now, Bitcoin is also viewed by some as a so-called Trump trade because Republican presidential nominee Trump embraced digital assets during campaigning. Trump is ahead in prediction markets. Now, one thing that I do want to know is that he is leading pretty big into the prediction in the betting markets. I love looking at betting markets. No different than when Vegas is doing the outcome or getting the spread for, let's say, the Dodgers and the Yankees. They have no bias or anything like that. Their goal is simply money. So I love looking at betting markets. If you hop on over to Polymarket, You'll see that Trump has a very commanding lead as to who they are predicting is going to win this presidential election. He's at 66.6%. And then Kamala Harris is at 33.5%. Of course, the red's Trump. The blue is Kamala Harris, which the predictions are. Coming on down, here's another interesting thing. Obviously, swing states are going to decide the election. But when you look at all major swing states, Arizona, Trump is up at 74%. Georgia, Trump is at 74%. Nevada, Trump is at 67%. Pennsylvania at 62% odds to win. Wisconsin at 59%. And Michigan at 54%. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but there is a world where he sweeps all these swing states and he wins convincingly. Now, Kamala Harris is the betting favorite to win the popular vote, which Democrats win almost every single election. But we all know that those votes, popular votes, don't matter. We are an electoral college. So at the end of the day, that's going to choose the next winner. So when you come looking at the bed markets, in almost every betting market, Trump is the favorite to win. Because again, looking at CNN and Fox and ABC polls, don't really, in my opinion, give you the clear picture. There's too much bias in those polls. But coming on down, the token, Bitcoin, is continuing to price a Donald Trump election victory. So remember, this price right here is baking in a Donald Trump victory, you know, kind of buying the rumor, selling the news. Now, Trump has vowed to make the U.S. the crypto capital of the planet, which he does want to move Bitcoin mining here and make it the biggest place on earth when it comes to Bitcoin mining and when it comes to crypto. He's also said that he's going to ask billionaire Elon Musk, a major donor to his campaign, to head up to push government spending. Obviously, Elon must be involved with anything. He's a huge proponent of crypto and anyone in crypto loves to see him involved in whatever this um, administration may bring. And then Musk affiliation with the Trump campaign helped to lift sentiment among traders, which 
Again, no doubt. Now, options traders have increased bets that Bitcoin will peak at around 80,000 by the end of November, regardless of who wins the election. Not necessarily sure I agree with that. I think if Trump loses the election, I think that $70,000 Bitcoin will probably be no more. But hey, what do I know? That's just my personal opinion. Now, Bitcoin lately, whether it's scaled back bets on Federal Reserve interest rate cuts, as well as reports of greater U.S. scrutiny of Tether. So overall, when you count the inflows that they had into the ETF Bitcoins yesterday, and then you count with the betting markets so heavily favoring Trump, the market is definitely baking in a Trump win. But what exactly do you think? Comment down below and let me know. Is Trump going to win? Is Kamala Harris going to win? Is Bitcoin and the crypto market pumping because of Trump? But before we get off, we definitely want to hop on over and look at that DeFi market and look at that meme market because we do tons of token reviews on the channel and we like to know exactly what's going on in those two markets. So what's going on in our DeFi meme market? We all know typically when a bull run starts, when stuff gets really exciting, Bitcoin will pump, that'll kind of trickle down into our altcoins and meme coins and different things like that. Now, our market cap for DeFi is up 4% at $96.2 billion. Trading volume is up 20% to $4.7 billion. Of course, we have Avalanche. Of course, we have Link. Let's see if we have anything exciting going on in the last 24 hours. Uh, nothing too crazy. We have Deep up 28%. Seapool up 16.50%. ALF up 13.38%. Let's go ahead and check out that meme market and see exactly what it looks like over there. Now our meme market, a little bit more bullish, I guess you can say even further up than the overall DeFi market. Market cap is up 10% to 63 billion. 24 hour volume is up 52% to 9.81 billion. Of course, we have our Dogecoin, our Shiba Inu, our Pepe, our Dog We've Had. Those are pretty normal. Let's see if we have any big gainers the last 24 hours. Again, nothing crazy. We had some bigger gainers yesterday, which we have Pups at 43, we have Loose at 38, and we have Kendu at 33. Also, GameStop noticeable mention at 24, Pepe Coin at 23. So we have a lot of 20 plus percent gainers. MAGA, again, I expect to see them there. They will probably be up towards the top every single day as we approach the election but again guys overall we expect the main blue chip cryptos to pump and that will trickle down into everything that we're looking at here but that's going to do it for today's video until next time trade safe